What is going on, my people? You know what is it is that one, the only, never duplicated Solano approval. To my new subscribers, welcome to that S to the O fam. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If I have any, if not, if you happen to be new to this channel and you like Fergus related content, please leave that. Please hit that subscribe button. I would gladly appreciate it. If not, just leave that thumbs up button and we'll show YouTube that you like this type of content. And it will also help YouTube show this algorithm to help me grow, please. I'm begging you. If not, oh well, what could you do? Thank you guys so much for joining and watching the show. Let's get on with today. I have a review. Obviously, that's what you're here for. Um, as you can see for the thumbnail. I'm sorry if my thumbnails are really sucky. I lost the program that I used to do them. It was less sucky, but now it's more sucky. But you get me. It's all a bunch of sucking. Sucking, 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 sucking everywhere. But without further ado, let's get on with it. And as you can tell from that crappy thumbnail, the review that I'm going to do is about your savage right here elixir yes your boy has turned to the light side again and came back like jay-z when he went commercial but this one right here i have to talk to you about it and let's get on with it right here here's the box the presentation the presentation the presentation here's the presentation uh pretty much here you open the box do, 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 do. it shows like this little mantle right there they stepped up their game i heard from what they did you have to open it or something like that i never got into dior savages because the reason i never got into it because everybody in my job had it and i didn't want to smell like everybody it was a people pleaser it is a compliment i'm not gonna say i don't like them i do like them i almost bought the perfume one but i didn't it just i just couldn't pull the trigger but i pulled the trigger well i didn't pull the trigger my mom gave it to me actually which was pretty cool my mom was nice enough to give this to me and you know i was at the mall and she was like oh you like it i'm like yeah i like it like, all right we'll take it i was nice of her i don't know what's wrong with my mom but whatever let's get on to the review like i said let me start rambling but yeah pretty much yeah here's the elixir a uh, couple problems one problem that i have with it is the price this is right here when you look at this fragrance is niche territory is 155 i do think this is really expensive for a 1.7 for a 60 ml i think that's a 1.7 if i'm not mistaken if i am let me know i'm really not good with these but 155 for this one this is pretty expensive this is right here on niche territory guys now let's get on with the smell if you guys haven't noticed the spray is pretty good as you can see awesome sprayer <sighs> let me spray some right there you can see right there and the cap is magnetic you can pick it up from the cap because it won't fall off and that is awesome because if you guys like to pick from the cap and you guys a huge collection like i do right here and you just want to pick it up and stuff like that now i can still smell it in the air in the opening you do get that citrus vibe you do get that spicy some spices in it some spices in it it's really nice it's really sweet you do get that cinnamon in there that i smell i detect that but let me spray it on skin because it does smell different on my skin right here it's really i really do like it the opening what i get the syrupy coffee vibe that i get the syrupy coffee citrusy vibe is what i get in the opening right there when you just open that that um pack of rope fresh uh, coffee beans that's what i get with the syrupiness the citrus is coming right there you get that cinnamon this one right here i have to say it reminds me a lot of the holiday so basically thanksgiving christmas right there when you bring out all those spices the cinnamon you get that spiciness of the pepper of the pepper yeah really really coffee-ish vibe that you get right here you do get that what i get to better dumb it down for you guys to dumb it down instead of being like the notes guy because sometimes i am not the notes guy because i can't really detect a lot of notes certain notes i could detect but let's get on with it the best way that i personally can describe it this coffee soapy fragrance doesn't make any sense i guess some coffee-ish syrupy soapy-ish fragrance that i get with it which is really nice it's really different it's really bold it's really the dior right here really stepped out and stopped pleasing the masses which is dope which is dope because I was tired of seeing everybody smell the same within Brox. And you do get that Dior DNA. I forgot to say that. You do get that the Savage DNA in there. It it's right there. You could tell it was a flanker. It's definitely a flanker of this, of the Dior line. But to me, it's really awesome. It's a beast mode fragrance. Longevity and projection. You get a good solid about 
eight hours plus of longevity projection you get a strong solid three hours in it and then i just go nose blind to it but i do get the compliments and it's very powerful this again it's not the fragrance that you want to wear for the summer time it's i said it's beast more fragrance one or two sprays is if you want to wear it on and about one or two sprays is what i recommend because you don't want to spray it on and be a powerful sprayer and be known this is actually one of my fragrances that is very powerful that gets your presence known when you wear this one if you guys like this one let me know what your guys thoughts and compliments i did get a lot of compliments off of it i'm not gonna lie i do like it that's the reason i bought it now when i said in the beginning i'm not a big fan of the savage because everybody has it a lot of my people in my job yo could you get me savage yo could you buy me i'm like i could find all of those fragrances at a cheap price with certain people that i know but to me it wasn't enough for me to buy it. but this one right here is awesome it's an awesome fragrance do i recommend this to you guys yes i do recommend this to you guys for the reason that is different and if you guys like different go check it out try it out now do i recommend you buy it not right now at this point 155 i'm really against the 155 especially when you're going retail because 155 this is really niche territory 60s 60 mls i don't think so it's not for me especially for a designer which i really don't buy designers but this one just sold it this one just sold it plus it was a gift to me so so yeah I, it's really awesome it's really changing it's dark soapy you get that lavender right there spicy it's an awesome fragrance in my opinion well worth it different uh, date night fragrance dressed up dressed down any type of occasion it could be worn i do check I, like i said i do suggest you check it out it is really for that person that wants different something different in the savage line and i guarantee you not a lot of people are gonna have it the reason a lot of people are not gonna wear it because they're so used to that embroxing you do get a little bit of embroxing but not as much as you got with the other one this one right here you get the citrus you get the spiciness you get the lavender you get the coffee you get the syrupy and boom it makes it a great fragrance that is different where you want to stand out is beast mode i know probably down the line that they're gonna see it does so hopefully it does popular it, it does make a big splash and it does you are gonna probably gonna get a bigger bottle or hopefully they do make it um they do make it more affordable i know it's gonna hit read um discounter so wait till that checks out excuse me so wait till that checks out and you could go check it up over there if not let me know what you guys think that's pretty much my review i really don't want to make it very long it's it's dope it's um it's a dope fragrance but the only like i said the problem that i have so not to sound like a robot it is the price 155 for a 60 ml obviously niche territory you pay do pay a little bit more for 60 ml but in the bottle this is a great fragrance um like i said i never thought i would buy a savage but i just shot myself in the foot and said it but yeah pretty much is awesome it's it's dope it's it i i don't know what to say i fell in love with it a soapy soapy coffee or syrupy fragrance is what i get spicy fragrance is what i get well that is pretty much my review i know i rambled on but i did give you a short sweet review rest in peace carlos remember the view right there but thank you guys so much for watching this and as always wear what you want buy what you want and i will definitely see you next time and if i don't it's probably because you're not subscribed remember just because it's niche doesn't mean it's always good and just because it's designer doesn't mean it's always bad peace i'm not here you know who it is then get king of this bitch baby